What's up, fellas? Look at that bad boy. Look at the rustication on that. Amazing. Stem work. Those of you more experienced pipe smokers already know the name brand of this. But it's an Ardor. Very nice pipe. Just doing a quick video on the tobacco I'm smoking right now. Hearth and Homes Magnum Opus. I bought all their blends, uh, all the hearth and, hearth and home blends, and uh, I didn't care for any of them. Uh, a lot of people were big on Larry's blend and uh, Anniversary Cake and the, the Burley Cake or Burley Crumble Cake, whatever. But this one here. The Magnum Opus, I have to give it a, a decent review. Coming out of the uh, tin, if you can see that pretty good or not, but uh, really good looking ribbon cut tobacco. And uh, <clears throat> compared to a lot of other blends, it was really dry already to begin with, very dry. So you got to watch it after you open the tin, but uh, burns really, really well. It's no problem re trying to relight it at all. And the taste is pretty good. I really liked it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit of uh, Balkan Sobrani and a cross mixture of uh, Blue Mountain from uh, McClellan's. I have a couple tins and I'm going to order some more of this. It's your classic, uh, it's a Balkan blend. Uh, rare Orientals. It's got some Virginias, Latakia, of course. So if you, that's up your alley of tobaccos, you like that kind of tobacco, you'd like this. I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's about the only one I like out of all the hearth and home blends so far that I've tried. And I uh, picked up a tin, another tin of uh, Christmas cheer. But this one, I might take this one down to Nashville with me. Uh, this one's a special one. This and the age, the year on it. You can pick that up or not. It's 2000. So that's 13 year old right there. Unopened. And I got a couple tins of, uh, I believe one was 1996 and one was from 99, 98 or 99 coming too. I found out recently, well, just the other day, yesterday, uh, my, one of my next door neighbors, I won't mention their names, but uh, he gave me a call on the phone. Completely surprised me out of the blue. And uh, he said, yeah, I've seen your pipes on eBay for sale. So he was inquiring about one. So I said, yeah, sure, come on over, look at him. So he picked one he liked and he went ahead and bought it. And uh, I tried to even give the guy a discount and he wouldn't take it. So he bought that anyway, and uh, 
He's like, oh yeah, we watch your videos all the time. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. So he watched my videos there a while ago. I found out a couple of months ago that my mom had found me on YouTube looking under my pipe tobacco, my name selling my uh, pipes on there. She found my videos somehow. So my mom was watching me. Several of my friends had found me on there and they were watching me. And now some neighbors. So I'm like, oh, this is just getting really embarrassing. So before you didn't care as much because nobody you knew was on here that was watching you that you really knew. So just like, oh, that's just still embarrassing, but it's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of good people on here. A lot of trading, a lot of really good information. A lot of good friends that are interested in the same hobbies you are. So, uh, that was pretty cool though. And, uh, the contest I had a couple weeks ago that Shadrach had won, he went ahead. I should have took my address off of the envelope. I wasn't even thinking when I shipped it to him. So he ended up sending me a little package today in the mail. He sent me this tobacco here. It's, uh, John's Native Waters Tobacco Lane on the Square. It smells really good. I'm going to give that a try. Sent me a tin of uh, Full Virginia Flake. And I, I sent him a private message. I asked him what the deal is with this. He sent me a bullet. I don't know why he did that or if it's uh, something he does for good luck or something. I don't know. I sent asked him about that. And I know he, he collects knives all the time. And he sent me a knife. Really cool. So I told him, I said, you didn't have to do that. But that's how people are in this community of ours on here. Everybody's the friendliest people I ever met in my life. And uh, just the other day, Wallace sent me a uh, big package of uh, several pounds of coffee from a little shop down there in Alabama where he's from. And uh, I should have got them out and showed you that, but they're upstairs in the kitchen. But uh, he sent me a couple of different styles. Uh, one, I think, was like a German chocolate, and the other was a uh, some kind of aromatic coffee. I can't remember. the, the It was like a smelled like a dark cream color or something. I don't know, but uh, they were really good. Thanks again, Wallace, for that. Hope to see you down in Nashville, too. That's about all I had. I just wanted to uh, give a quick review on this stuff here. Like I said, if you liked the uh, Balkan style blends of Magnum Opus, it's definitely one of the better ones, in my opinion, from Hearth and Home. As of dates, I haven't tried them all yet, but I've tried most of them. That's about all I got going on. And uh, remember, Shadrach, we have a little thing going. He's from Atlanta down there, so he's a big Falcons fan, and I'm a Cowboys fan, so uh, you will be wearing my shirt soon, son. Talk to you guys later.